Well, hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 on the Autocraft SMP. As you've seen in the intro, we worked a little bit on this bridge to connect my base with King's base, which is very important because we want to start making rows for our horses. The plans for today's episode is to begin the works of my base here on Starter Town number 2. But wait, because before that, there's a very short clip that I had to hide from you on the last episode, which is from the first day on the server, and now that I can show it, it's going to explain some of the events that will happen today. So, yeah. you know how we said everyone is going to be using TAF, which is a great block, we know, everyone is going to yes. tap TAF. So what I was, um, but it's a pain to mine, so what we can do is to make some sort of pyramid scheme. No, no, yes. no. Listen, listen. This is how it works. We make people sign up to our tough service. We need to come up with a name. They give us tough. <laughs> like they give us, I don't know, let's say four stacks oh. of tough. And then. Okay, after so we're week... roping. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So just to make sure I did this right real quick, we're roping them in to giving us tough so we don't have to mine it. So Krink is not here yet. He's not logged on. So I need to leave him a message. I see you are Kring. Meet me at the bar at noon. Make sure nobody follows you. We have to talk about stuff. Calvin. Secret. Stuff. Sign and close. There we go. So when he comes back, he knows that we are waiting for him. And um, where do I leave this? Where do I leave this? Somewhere where nobody finds it. Probably here. Secret stuff. Secret. No Shio. No Shashik. Just Kring. Not even lazy. Are you watching? I'm giving you the chaos that you wanted. It's about time that we meet up with Krink. I have everything ready. I have a plan. It's time to call for Krink. It's noon. He's coming. He's coming here. Hello there. Hi, Krink. It's time. But it's midnight. It's, it's... So let me explain what we are going to be doing. You know, we had a talk. Yes, yes, that, that talk that may or may not be on camera or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need to recruit people. We need to not recruit people, but we need to make them sign up. They need to write down their name and they're going to have that on camera. Every name that they put in this barrel, it's a legally bonding signature. So everyone that signs up, they are signing up for the service and they will be granted all the benefits. All okay, now, all of the do benefits. we need to sign up? No, we run the shop. Tashi, hello. Okay. Yes. Do you perhaps have an area that's maybe a little bit more private? Yes, this is perfect. This is the perfect this spot. This is perfect, yes. Cover the exit. Just do you want to show in a pyramid scheme? Me and Calvin, we are making a little shop. It's a, it's, it's a shop. It's a service. Have you heard about a service called Stuff? Stuff. Simple stuff. You just need to sign up. You just need to put your name and place it on the barrel. Before I put this in the barrel, mm -hmm. do, do I get to know the price? So I give you tough and then later you give me tough back. It's like a bank and I get interest. And then when you need tough, we give it to you. So say you need five stacks of tough, you tell us, bam, you got five stacks of tough. I don't feel any weird way about this at all. Are there any like fine line prints that I'm missing? I need to see the, I need to see the TOS. So, I can't tell you everything right now, mostly because we haven't decided everything right now, but it shouldn't be more than just a monthly subscription and payment or something like that. Do you certify that this is your legal name? This, this is your legal name. It doesn't have the underscore. Hereby acknowledge that that will also work for my signature. Because that, that can bring problems with our lawyers. I, I, we don't want problems with our lawyers. But in case something fails, I guess he will just not have all the benefits, right? I am not going to be joining your pyramid scheme. Thank you very much. And so if you don't subscribe, you get extra notifications. And if you subscribe, you could just get the normal amount of notifications. You need to place it on the barrel and that will seal the deal. If anybody can appreciate what you guys are doing, it's someone with my name. <sighs> Okay, I'm in. Uh, you trust me, there there will be, you'll know when we're ready to collect the tough. Oh, that's I'll, I'll put my name in the barrel. Thank you so much. I'm sure you will regret this. You will hear from us. Wait, you mean I won't regret this, right? That's what I said, yes. That, that, that's not what you said. Have a nice day. Uh, the moment I hit record, it starts raining. That's 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 how it works. I'm pillaring up with dirt because I want to show you something. 
there's a slight problem with my base. The thing is that it's a very, 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 very tall base. It's not large. In fact, I don't think I'm even going to have room to put any chests of survival things that I need. Um, but it's going to be tall. We are not even there yet. We need to keep going. Okay, around this height is where my base is going to be. Will I die? I will probably die. But yeah, my base is going to be very tall. And that's a problem because we are living... Oh, I'm so good at this. Anyways, first of all, the tree is going to look very small once we start building. What concerns me is that every other people's bases, like Shashik and Krink, uh, they are going to look small, and they are not small builds. It's just that my, my base is too tall. It even goes into the clouds, as you can see. Also, Krink's base is looking nice. Uh, but yeah, it's a very large base. Starter base. Can I call it starter base? I don't know. Now let's just mine all this copper because I started the resource grinding and now that we have fortune we can finally do that and get all these beautiful stacks of copper. That's a bunch of copper. I've also been already cooking here. I don't know if I've shown you but down here under the tree I've got my mud machine. Here I have a lava farm. This is what I've been using to cook. And now I just set up a cactus farm. Just wanted to show this because this is what I'm going to be using to collect all the materials that we are going to be seeing on the construction of mm, the starter base. While I put together the beginning of this starter base, I want to talk a bit about the theme and inspiration for this season. Since they introduced copper blocks back in the version 1.17, I've been wanting to build something steampunk. And now, in 1.21, with the new addition of Taff, the Crafter, and even more copper variants, it feels like Minecraft is undergoing an industrial revolution. So what better time than now to embrace a steampunk style? However, I will not just go steampunk, instead I found a variant called clockpunk and it's absolutely beautiful and I'll be talking about it a bit more in my following episodes. Alright, so here we have a few changes, we got to start with our base, plus we got to fix our tree. Or not, not really fix it, but we got to add a few branches on the sides. But what was concerning me a bit more was the fact that it was a bit too two-dimensional. So if we take a look from a distance from this side, we can see that now it feels a bit more balanced on both sides. It's not. It's a still a bit. Of course, it's a bit flatter in this side, but it was worse before because we didn't have that. We didn't have that. I think we didn't have that either. Because that, that was a problem I didn't realize when I when I designed it. And of course, we got to start with our base. It's a very, very first step. The first of many steps. It's not even finished because I do want to put some grass in all these, some small trees, some bushes. But this is going to be like the platform for our base. Plus, we are going to be putting some gears and clock pieces all around it to make it look more mechanical, more block punk. And on the back we have this entrance that I think we are going to make some sort of... I'm, I'm thinking I will try to make some diagonal gears. I think here it might look well, or like a water wheel. And this will be like our secondary dock. So will be like our secret sea entrance into the base, or actually into the basement of our base, because this will be like the basement. The base is going to be up on top of that layer that we have there. So we have done some really good progress on the base, but we are going to stop for now because back here I have the materials that I'm going to need to build the stuff shop on the shopping district. I chose a spot in the shopping district, so let's go over there so that I can show you what we are going to be building. So you can see we have some path blocks here that I've been like marking the route. Of course we need to make it more beautiful, this is like very lazily done. But I had to like carve out some part of this terrain so that it was I was able to traverse this with the horse. Because so far I've been going to the shopping district through the river and I think that's good. But I kinda want to have a decorated path next to it. So it's like a nice route towards the shopping district. I think that is that is cool. And as you can see, this is how far as I've come. It's not horse friendly yet. Here is where I am going to be placing my shop. And I'm going to push it a bit, a bit back 
like here into the forest we might need to extend the forest a bit further because it's going to be like um, like something hidden in the forest it's, it's going to be shady it's going to be scummy it's going to be uh, it's uh, you, you you will see you will see once i finish it i need to come up with a name for him or her do we have a name i don't know we are going to be needing to do some cleanup here first and we are going to make some custom trees and that's why we are going to be using the green terracotta and the tough walls to make some pine tall trees so let's do the first step of this and i come back to you once that's done we made a few trees we just made three of them because i want to show you how simple they are they are very ugly trees if you ask me they don't have a lot going on have walls that go all the way up and they have leaves around i'm using a mix that goes from spruce to green terracotta to green wool and moss and i think that works pretty well if you take these trees individually they don't look super nice these are trees that i think work very well together but yeah now we are going to make a few more over there a few more on the back and then we are going to be building the shop over there so let's get to do that so there we have the trees you can see now how they are more clustered and in a larger quantity on this side how they work together better you can see how that changes the landscape especially with the other trees surrounding they still fit but they have a slight change of color towards the top and that works very well because the spruce is still on the same line as the as the regular spruce forest we can have like some fence gates open so we also get those shapes you're going to play a bit with that now this is kind of the style of building that i'm going to go for the tough shop it's not finished yet but what i want to point out here and what i want you to see is how different this is going to look before and after i place all the glass panes it's it's going to change it's going to change a lot i do like the circular shape there what i don't like is the red color the red color doesn't fit well here so one of the things that we are going to be doing to avoid having that strong red color here is place just some dark glass and you can see how that immediately changes it we still have the red color but now it's softer and that helps a lot if we would want to go further we could push it back and put more layers of glass in fact, I might try to do that. Let's let's try to do that in this one and see how that works. There we go. So yeah, that's one of the tricks that we can do here. I think that's looking wonderful. And another thing we can do with glass, for instance, is have here this like that. And you will see this is very simple to do. We just put the glass there. And you can see how that gives the illusion that it connects. So you have like the line between the basalt and it goes to the dark and then there. That works very nice. And it changes the shape of what we are seeing. We can change the order in which we did this. And then the, the dark glass can go here instead. Yeah, that changes. I like it. I'm good with it. So, well, yeah, I still need to place. As you can see, I have a bunch of glass that I still need to place here. Getting glass paints is not that expensive. You just need how much. I, I'm not really, this is not even a stack of glass. I, I don't think. It's a really cheap material that you can use to really elevate the coloring and shading of your builds. And you can see those shapes, you can't get those shapes with regular blocks in this scale. And from a distance, you really can't tell. Let me finish this and I'll come back to talk about what this shop is going to be about. So this might be the stupidest idea for a build that I've had in a while. And I will tell you why in a second, but now let me actually show you so that you can see how much it changed with all the glass work that we did. We have a lot of changes. We added some glasses there, so it kind of have like that changing of color. Also there on the roof, it's a very subtle one, as you can see. Uh, and here, this might be the one that is least noticeable, and that is a good thing. I also changed the designs one more time. I think I like this one even more. But if we get up close, we can see that we have the polish stuff, that goes into polish deep slate once we move there so that is like that feeling of darkness and then with the glass we are making some sort of shadow that also helps a lot with the shape also here so we don't have like super bright brown of the dark oak i think i like it like this especially at night but the reason why i say this is stupid is because let me let me let's let's go into the shop let's go let's go into the shop that's going to to explain why i forgot to put the lights put some lights you can see the shop is just a 
yeah it's a it's a wooden box it's a wooden a wooden shack it's not a very large shop and this is just a facade that's the idea for this it's it's supposed to be very shady and very fake as the stuff shop is in itself so it's a very good metaphor for what the shop does let me sleep so yeah let me show you the back actually because this is just a facade this is just a facade behind the shop the reality is that it's a very very deteriorated and old wooden shack the roof you can see it's very worn down and there we have on top like some uh, oak beams that are like holding the facade in place so this is not tough this is not it's just some plastic a facade that is put up to cover the, the reality of this shop that is, a, that is a scam. That's the idea. And I think it turned out pretty good and pretty funny. And it's a very good concept to do something that looks cool, but it's very easy to do early game. I mean, it's a great excuse to just build the front of a building. I don't have to build the back if I do this. I can do all my builds this season like that. But now let's finish this and let's go find Krink so that we can tell him that if he wants to build the vault, I think he can do it right below the fake stuff shop Ring. hello 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 oh. hello 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 Hi, hello 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 i have good news the stuff good shop, news i love good news I, these are good news for us not for the rest of the people on the server but the stuff shop has a place oh this is the stuff shop Ooh, it's i'm missing I a sign like it. i need to make a sign and here we have the place for the horses You know, you can just, when you're on your horse, if you go up to the side so you get out on the right, put your right out. I won't remember that, Grink. Okay. I I love the, like, the terraforming outside yeah. of it, too. Yeah, just don't oh, look. wait a minute. Just don't look at the back. Oh, wait no, a minute. Don't look at the <laughs> back. Don't look at the back. Don't. <laughs> don't. No, that's not... People don't need to come here. You see these signs? That's, that's what I was fearing. I have to put these signs that say, keep out, don't walk further. We need to just to, we need to prevent people from coming to this side and looking at this. Ah, uh, yeah, the interior is still a work in progress. We need to make this fancy as well. You can make it fancy. I still have to make a vault. And you oh. need to make a vault, maybe underneath. I don't know. Something like that. Underneath? I didn't know if we wanted to do it underneath or in just a random location. I mean, I don't know. Well, however, yeah. you you feel it's better. I also written down the terms of service. Terms of service. Ooh. Welcome to the stuff. Simple Tough Shop. This is a subscription-based service to make it easier for our customers to acquire Tough for their builds. By subscribing to the Tough Stuff Shop, you agree to our terms of service. Oh my god, there's like, what is this called? Table of Contents. Yes, it's very organized. Subscribe to the Stuff Shop, you must put your legal Minecraft name on a piece of paper and deposit it in the barrel next to the notarized anvil. A Stuff representative will then reach out to you and charge you accordingly to the tier you select. Tier details, slight tough. Price, three stacks per month. Minimum wait time, four business days. Semi-simple tough. You can request up to 16 stacks of tough per month and quarters of four at a time. Price, eight stacks, minimum three days. SSST, so stupidly simple tough. Turbo tough option. By paying 16 diamonds, you can enter the turbo tough mode and get all your stacks of tough at once upon request. Cancel subscription. Canceling the subscription is super simple. Just like us, simple tough. You'll only need to reach out to one of the stuff service representatives and they will give you the instructions to cancel the subscription. Do you like it? I can do your I love it. Do you think it's good? Yes. Do you think this will allow That's us good. To, to, to scam people? I think it's good. Okay. Wait, we're not supposed to say that. It's Oh, it's not noon. We're not supposed to say that. And to cancel the subscription, we can really, you know, we can do whatever we okay. want. Depends yeah, on whatever the we're feeling. Whatever, yeah. whatever we're feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I need to make sure no one comes back here and sees the reality behind our shop. Totally legal service. I would recommend to keep people out. We could put like weeds or sweet berries or stuff like that. So they won't want to walk back there. That's a good idea. And that's why I run this service with you because you have good ideas. You know what we can do as well? We can put like a guard, like a skeleton even here that will shoot Ooh, people. Yes. That's specifically like right here. So you can't. He can't see them unless they cross like behind the, line. the wall. I really play with a, with awesome. a glass. I was playing with that and I talked like for half an hour about how you can use glass in a build. It's very boring, but I did it and people are going to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> just like how they're going to watch you place down that bed and sleep. That's crazy. That's crazy. It? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm definitely cutting right, that yeah. out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. S T U F F. There we go. And that's going to finish our shop. Stuff shop. Let me show you because we also have interior now. You can see we have a very small interior that is kind of fake. But we have everything here. The almighty notarized anvil. People can grab the paper and sign up in the anvil and deposit it back here. Only instructions. It's not the real one. The real one is safe with me. For now, this is the interior. This is what we have. I will wait for Green to make the bolt. But this is looking nice and I can't wait to see what people think of this totally not sketchy shop. But anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to keep building my starter base next episode as well. This has been Calvin and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.